Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Five Senses. Hope you all have been doing well. So today I'm here to discuss uh, some problems that I have observed as a drawing teacher. Uh, I have been working as a drawing teacher for the past six, seven years, and I have worked with children of different age group. One thing that I have noticed among some children is that they are not able to write with their hands down like for example see so for example if i have to show it here uh, so this is the line and usually when most of us write our hands are down like this so i will write here a b c a t cat so my hands are always down i'm writing a b a t bat like that but what i have observed in children nowadays that they are writing like this the hands are not here where it should be positioned uh, resting on the wrist their hands tends to fall down here so so they're either writing like this a or and gradually the hand goes up b a t like that c a t most of the children i've seen that they are doing this now why does this happen because uh, one thing is that the children are not able to balance the pencil and the hand on their wrist and secondly they also have a weak thumb their thumb is not strong so their pencil the weight of the pencil and their hand tends to fall and they tend to take the support of this these fingers and that is why they end up writing like this now what happens when they write like this when they write like this their own hand becomes an obstruction to them you know as a drawing teacher, I would like to highlight on what happens when they try to draw and color in that manner is because their hands are like this. So such children can only color in vertical strokes. They find it very difficult to color in horizontal stroke because they are holding the pencil like this or like this so it becomes slanting line or curved line so say we want to color the sky or the sea so what they do is they turn their page and color in vertical lines and then turn it back again to get the effect of the sky or the sea every time they need to turn the book uh, do the vertical lines and turn it back again and also they are not uh, the effect does not come out very well the coloring does not come out very well so it's a difficulty for the child also so according to me this can be fixed at the very onset when when the when writing is introduced to the child so most children will tend to write like that you know their hands will fall on one side at the very beginning when you introduce writing to your child whatever age three years three and a half years four years take some time out and spend some time with your child the best thing to do is make the child sit in front of you and let the child write and every time his hand drops to one side just hold it and remind the child that you need to write like this just support your hand on your wrist and not on your fingers so the, suppose this is your child's hand and he's writing so he will tend to write like this so all you have to do is hold his hand and fix it and remind the child that you have to support your hand on your wrist so he'll write like this and this and then again his hand may drop on one side so again you remind him you'll probably need to do it a few number of times all you have to do is spend 10 to 10 to 15 minutes with your child at home 
and do it every day and children are quick learners actually in 20 days or in a month your child will be able to write uh, effectively and correctly and this will not only help him in drawing and coloring it will also help him to build up speed when he's writing because when he's writing with his hand down then there is nothing to obstruct him also i would like to reiterate that uh, you don't leave this task on the school teachers or the class teachers because already school teachers have around 10 to 15 students some in some schools they have 20 students in a class and they have a syllabus to complete in a fixed time so they may not be able to devote 10 to 15 minutes or, or 20 minutes on each child so i know parents are very busy both the parents go out to work nowadays but uh, please make it possible and spend some time with your child it will just take 20 to one maximum one month and only 10 to 20 minutes a day to get this done so uh, that's all i wanted to share today in this video for the parents and for the kids uh, I'm sure um, many of you are already aware of it and you are already doing it uh, just in case uh, you didn't know or you missed it because you are having a busy time. Uh, I wanted to share it. Uh, hope this helps. Um, that's, it. that's all I have today and I'll meet you again in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.